It's already 9.30 p.m. and there is still so much work to be done. Another standard Tuesday. Dick sits alone in his office, entranced by the legal briefs before him. Just as he begins to delve into a state of concentration, a gentle on the door startles him. Dick, cries Marilyn from the other side of the glass. Are you still in there? Dick responds and beckons Marilyn to enter, but he doesn't even glance at the doorway to greet her presence. Marilyn enters the room and stops immediately in the doorway. She seductively places her hand upon her hip and hopes that Dick will notice her, but his gaze remains fixated on the documents covering his desk. Just as Marilyn opens the door, a draft of wind breezes through the window and into the office. The papers on Dick's desk fly and scatter about. Marilyn gasps. And in response, Dick tilts his head up in her direction without breaking his gaze downward and assures her that it's fine. Marilyn skirts across the room to close the open window. She wedges herself between the edge of the desk and the frame of the window, strategically positioning her finer assets to attract Dick's attention. It works. Dick finally looks up from his document and notices Marilyn perched on the corner of his desk. The phone rings and breaks the silence within the room. Dick grows tense. He knows who it is, and he can predict this conversation before it even begins. He takes a deep breath and reluctantly reaches to answer. Jane immediately begins to ramble. Something about a cold dinner and crying children. Dick's attention strays back to the derriere on the corner of his desk as the voice on the other end of the line continues to drone on. It's gonna be a late night, Jane mumbles Dick in response, as he focuses more attention on the task before him. Marilyn perks up when she hears the call come to an end. She knows this Tuesday night routine. Yep, it's going to be a late night indeed.